Hi, my name is Annie Wigand. This is my name sign. And I'm the lighting designer for I Was Most Alive With You. Right now, we're in rehearsal. The lights have all been hung as of about a week or two ago. The set's being loaded in, which is exciting. You can see it happening behind me. By Friday, hopefully the set is all finished. I'll come back to focus the lights. Working with a team of electricians, they'll be up on ladders above and I'll be standing on the stage and we'll be moving the lights, focusing the lights. Every light needs to be focused, pointed at a specific location on the stage. Once the focus is finished, we'll start tech rehearsals. So tech, what is tech? What does that mean? Tech is everything, everyone coming back together. All of us designers, we've been working on the vision of the show for a year now. It's all been in our heads. So we've been making drawings and diagrams and all sorts of visual representations, but tech is a special moment when everything finally comes back together. The actors are all in costume, the sound cues go in, the lights are all on. Everything gets put together to make the final production. It will take time to make sure every moment comes together. Lights and sound and projection of the captions. And we'll do it again and again to make sure it looks right. The set is bi-level. And that's for several reasons. The main point is to separate our family and our shadow actors. So my job as a lighting designer, it's a double challenge. Obviously, we want the whole world of the set to feel connected, but the second level has some special considerations. We need to make sure the signing is visually clear. But even so, we still need to make sure that the audience understands where we are in the story. Are we at night? Is it a nighttime scene? Is it the morning? Are we in a bedroom? Or the workroom? Are we in a memory? Or are we in the present? So really, while the first level is focused on the family, we have to remember that their location, the setting changes and moves, and the timeline jumps forward and backward too. So the lighting has to support that. But sometimes visibility becomes a challenge given all that. We need to make sure that we can see the signing above, but that it remains visually connected to the action below. 